Here, go ahead. Alright guys, we're over here at the George Stickney house right now. We're waiting for the guy to get back so we can go ahead and ask him some questions and get a tour of the place. When we first walked in, one of the guys told us where to go and I don't know if we were recording or not. I'm going to try and find out, but we literally, three of us heard a whisper go, I see. And honestly, I got chills up and down, and we heard the toilet flush, and nobody's come out, so I don't know. They could be dumb theories, or they could actually be real. I don't know. We'll find out. Alrighty, guys. So, we did interview the cop. His name is... So, he did not want to be recorded. So, we kind of took down what we remember what we heard. So, that way we could give you guys references on what he told us. So, when we talked to him, we asked him a question about his experiences. And he said his first experience was in October of 07. That experience has, had changed his life. He had never truly experienced any, like he didn't really believe in paranormal activity. I quote, he said, I never froze. I was in the Marines and a cop all my life. Never froze, except that night I froze for five minutes. And our friend Nick said, where did it happen? And I quote, he said, it happened right in that room where you see that desk in the corner. There was a desk in there that faced the wall to the east. In other words, that window and I um, heard a scream in his ear. It was about five or six feet in the air. He was typing up a report. He had brought in a noose for evidence. And he believes that it was a soldier and that the soldier did not like it very well. He said, I looked exactly where the person should have been, haha, ha. but there was nothing. This, and we got a little history right here. The, his, the Stickney House was originally built on Indiana territory and the house was used in the Civil War. Van speculates that the spirit was a Civil War soldier, as I said before. Vance said, you don't even have to be alone. We could be in a meeting, and all of a sudden, you would see something fly across the room, like a globe or something. He goes, I mean, it's completely unexplained. I'm a physics guy, and it makes no sense at all. Or to see something fly across the room. I used to have maps stacked on a, a map holder, and within a four-month period, three different times, about three inches of maps flew up off the shelf by itself and went up in the air, and I could see every page. It was the weirdest thing I had ever seen. It was like every page I could see, and it would fall by my feet. And on the third time, I had one of my officers in here, and he jumped and hit the door leading upstairs. It doesn't bother me no more. They were just trying to be funny. It was probably... Ghost Adventures almost did an episode on it, but was denied by the board at the time. It was in about 2012 when they asked. The board is making some changes now, so they are hopefully going to be able to come and see the place. About two years ago, he says, the paranormal activity slowed down. He doesn't really understand why, but it used to be an every day, all day, every night, all night. You could ask stuff to happen, and it would. Literally hundreds of things would happen. You could be sitting at your desk, and stuff would just fly off your desk. You'd hear footsteps upstairs in the ballroom. Also, uh, you would hear toilets flushing, doors opening and closing. It started to become normal to him. They started to turn into family to him. He uh, would know them by the feel of them being in the room. He knew the kids were in the room, and they would poke and play tricks on him. He knew Solvia was... Um, in the room if his face was being touched and his hair was being played with. I'm not too sure if he said anything about George. We didn't really catch he's on top it. Of the stairs. Yeah, he's on he the said, it's like they're family, but it just feels like they're not there anymore and like all the spirits are starting to go away. Which, feel, which is kind of sad for him because they became family to him. He's been working there for a while now. So he doesn't understand it. He says, why the family is so silent? I was told because that's part of, the he of their heaven. I don't know why. I don't know how and why that works out. It feels like they're gone. 
He also did a voice recording to try and talk to them, and he heard his name three times, his whole entire name in it three times. We think this is extremely interesting. I have a question for you guys. Yeah. Has this doll always been standing right here? No, that's George. George. Yeah, we keep them up there after Halloween's over. Should be in the far left room, though. Um, he's on top of the stairs. Yeah, he's at the top of the stairs. We're near the top of the stairs. Yo, watch out. No, so no, he can... that's okay. Just... He's, he's literally right, right here. here. Oh, you guys can go hang out with the down here. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Okay. Can you Hold on. flash your. Dude, that thing is creepy as shit behind you. I don't like that. That's their Halloween decoration. But, guys. I want to go in the room. It is. That's the ballroom, apparently. Yeah, that's the like, this is making me so nervous. Here, I'm freezing and guys, this is scary as Go ahead and talk. So George Stickney House and Ava just went in there ballroom to take a picture, which is where they did their seance. 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 And she literally something crossed across her face. And literally where I'm standing right now, like the front of my body is warm, but the back of my legs is freezing and Ava is shaking. She is so cold. It is like 15 degrees cooler up here than it is downstairs. So I'm gonna have, I personally, no offense, I'm not going towards that room, but I'm gonna have him go towards that room because he's a little more ballsy. Yeah, go ahead. You wanna go look in that room? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm like, oh, with no offense. I'm too scared. I'm gonna take pictures. Okay. Because you'll catch the design night vision. Hey, remember what side of the room the ballroom is in? And that window right there. And we'll go back outside later and take pictures in those windows. Yeah. It's definitely at least one degrees colder over there. Yeah. It is extremely cold I where we're standing. Should we try and talk to it? Yeah. Let's go. I don't know. Come on, let's go up fully. I don't know if we're allowed to go up fully. We sit to the stairs. We're not supposed to be walking up there, but. Yeah. I think so. Crazy. Wait, we're not allowed to be walking. He in. said this was in that far room. Guys, this is so creepy. This is the ball room right here. It's not focusing. You're not focusing. Like. Hey, can you ask if we can go in the ballroom? It's like they said take two. What? My camera's not working. Ava saw something in the ballroom. Do you want to leave? No. Dude, what did you see? Nothing. Ava saw something. No, I did not see anything. It was just like a thing, and I just got scared. A spider web? No, it was like something moved in front of my face. Ava, something. can you turn on your flash? We don't take pictures of the Guys, this is... It is freezing right here. Like, it just... Do you want yeah. me to do a video? It's like, yeah. it's cold. It is over there trying to hook up his flash. And his flash kept going off, which is not normal. 
Did it do it again by itself? No. It is literally freezing. Like the back of my legs are freezing, not no. even the front oh, half. I didn't move, guys. That's me. Okay. I can feel something like pushing me away from the wall a little bit. Guys, what? something is touching the top of my head. Wait, Somebody... don't move, don't move, don't move. I'm not joking. I can't pick anything up. Like the top of my hairs are being pulled. Yo, your jacket's being removed, like this part right here. Yeah, I'm messing with it. Uh -huh. My camera won't focus on you. Guys. Try to move. I can't, like, I'm literally Do you want me to try and touch it? No. Hold on, turn off your light. Are yeah. you getting anything? I just saw something move across my screen. I'm getting orbs and I just got an orb. You got an orb yes. across yes. over yes. my head? This? No, it was in front of you. That? That sounds I saw weird. it, like, zigzag up. Guys. There's some orbs, and something is like touching my head, and I don't know what it is, and there's some orbs, and I'm like freaking out right now, and it's only affecting me. Dude, my whole entire backside is freezing now. Like, my front side is warm. I think we should try and talk to it. I don't know. I guess we like, hi. Ask who's touching your hair. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna start up a video for a voice recorder. It stopped. I'm gonna set up a voice recorder, and I think we should try to. Is there anyone here that would like to talk to us? Wait a sec. Here, Who was that that was just pulling my hair? If there's any spirits here, we would like to communicate with you. We're here, friendlies. We just want to know about your history and your place. Oh my God. Huh. Nothing is just very really cold. You just got really cold? Yeah. Yeah. You're standing right next to me. Back of my legs. I can't feel they're so numb. They're cold. Reed? Yes. So you know how you see your shadow on the wall? Yeah. Well, in between flashes, I saw a second shadow. Yeah, I was seeing that when I was looking over there, too. If there's anything here that would like to talk with us, we would like to talk to you. Guys, that was weird. What? And creepy. I had something pulling my hair. Very strange. We would like to communicate with you. It's okay. We're not going to hurt you guys. Is there anyone here that would like to talk to us? <laughs> <laughs> What's this up for? Any of the sickly children, if you're here, we would like to talk to you. You can play with us, it's okay. We're not gonna hurt you or bite you, I promise you. We just want to be friends with you guys. Close your eyes for a second. I'm trying to get orbs. I'm seeing like visual distortion on the picture. <laughs>